G'day guys, Ozzy FIFA HD and welcome back to yet another episode of my skill move tutorial series where I show you how, where and when to perform a skill move in FIFA 21 yet again we've learnt this skill move but we've been hit by a patch by EA and they have patched the bridge skill move is it still usable we're gonna find out in this episode I'm gonna show you how where and when to use it and if you can use it if it's still usable post patch so without further ado let's get into the intro and I'm gonna teach you guys the bridge skill and how to use it post patch in FIFA 21 Griezmann, three men around him, but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic opening the trap. Ronaldo on the ball. He's made it himself. Just the control. tiniest the bit of control right. display there is absolutely ridiculous. The elastic on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about Aussie FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. To perform the skill move. The bridge skill move implemented this year in FIFA 21. It's quite simple. I've taught you before on the channel, but I'll run through it quite quickly for you guys now so that if you haven't learnt it, you will now. Double tap the R1 button. That's it, lads. That's all you need to do. And essentially, the player will push the ball out in front of them in a very quick mode, a quick fashion, and essentially they will speed and boost off into the gap. And essentially, it's very overpowered, it has been all year, and yet again, post-patch, I guarantee you lads, it's still in the game, it's still usable, and it's still overpowered. I used it so many times this weekend league. These clips you're seeing from here now are from Fort Champions, and my god, I abused it, because it's still in here, and it's still in the game, and you guys should still use it. But I'm going to show you how, and when, not how, <laughs> where and when to perform it now, post-patch in FIFA 21. Moving into where you perform the bridge skill. Essentially, I found the best places are just outside the 18-yard bots and around the wing area. In the midfield, I found not really. It's not that effective because you do sort of lose the ball. Obviously, there's a lot more midfielders in the center of the pitch compared to on the wing area and Obviously, there's a lot of players when they're you, you, when you're around the bots area. However, I'll get into that a little bit later as to why it's useful in that area. But for me, lads, you should use it in the 18-yard bots. Sorry, just outside the 18-yard bots and on the wing area. But I'm going to get into when you should use it, and that's important because it is essential with this skill move. Moving into when you should perform the bridge skill post patch in FIFA 21. Essentially, I have found. The best time is when you're one-on-one -on -one with the, obviously, the wing-back and you're using a winger, a pacey winger like Neymar and Mbappe, those sorts of players, and you use the bridge skill to bypass them and burst off into the gap. Essentially, when there's a gap out in front of you and you want to burst into that space, you can use the bridge skill to obviously burst into it and get off into the distance. and leave the defender in the dust. I have found that essentially when you use this, it's hard to defend against, even post-patch, and essentially the defender can't keep up. It's almost like a speed boost glitch, if you know what I mean, which is the best thing about it. But another time you should use it is essentially when there's a lot of players in the 18-yard bots, which often happens after a corner and you'll play it around to the 18-yard bots. But essentially when there's a lot of players in the 18 yard bots and you want to burst into the space behind that defensive line so if you have your defensive line there and essentially your opponent is trying to defend but usually most of the time they're using the ai you can use the bridge skill to burst into the gap or into the space that's in behind that defensive line essentially you can score a goal. I scored a lot of goals that way from the corner, playing it from the outside, around to the 18 yard bots, and using the bridge skill with Mbappe, Neymar, or Ronaldo to burst into the space which isn't behind the defensive line. And essentially, that is the best time to use it. But in general, if I'm gonna summarize when you should use it post patch, when there is a gap, when there is a bit of space in behind the defense, that is when you should use the British skill. But that will signal the end of the episode. Thank you ever so much for your support, lads. Drop a like, drop a sub, and drop a follow 
on my Twitter. Link is in the description down below. Your support has been absolutely tremendous. And from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you. But as always, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Have a good one, guys. And peace.